Hi there! Welcome to another tutorial of Super Mario Construct. Today, I will cover how to use warps, and for that, let's hop right on to the level editor. If you click on the thin pipe icon under the toolbar, you access the warps menu. Alright, say you want to go from map A to map B. First step in creating a warp to map B is to place the first entrance of map B. Let's place it mm, here. You'll see this M2 1 in front of the Mario sprite. This means that this object is entrance 1 of map 2. If you already have placed a start point in map 1, it will become the first entrance of that map, which is why it shows M11 in front of that Mario sprite. The number next to the M corresponds to each map. M2 for map 2, M3 for map 3, M4 for map 4, and so on. The number after that is the number of the entrance of each map. Let's begin with pipe warps. If you want to change entrance 1 in map 2 to a pipe warp, simply remove the Mario sprite and place the pipe entrance. M2 1 will automatically appear when it's placed. To create the exit warp, go back to map A and select the direction you want Mario to warp, as it is shown in the menu. We're gonna make Mario enter the, that last warp. This means we have to use the warp pointing to the right, but before we place it, we must first go to these two brackets on top and select which entrance is this warp gonna lead us. The first bracket selects the map, and the second one selects an entrance of that said map. In this case, we want to have Mario warping to map 2, entrance 1, like it's shown here. Let's give it a test run and see what happens. Door warps work the exact same way, only the difference is there's no specific direction. Although they have this unique option at the bottom, use circular doors. This is for when you want to place your doors in midair, so they don't look cut off. And yes, the smaller doors here are only interactable by small Mario. The doors with the keyhole are warps that it can only be unlocked with a key item, they're not goal points. This green dashed block here is a warp block that works just like a, do a normal door would, except you can place any object behind or in front of this special block, with the correct layering of course. And if Mario touches this tile, he warps instantly. Checkpoints in Super Mario Construct work based on entrances as well, so if you want the player to respawn right next to it, after they lose a life, simply place an entrance close to the checkpoint and assign the checkpoint with the correct map number and entrance number. And there you go! And last but not least, there's the reset option. This is very useful for those setups and contraptions that may cause soft locks if the player doesn't get it right for the first time. Adding reset warps is the most efficient solution to this situation. Here in map 2, by placing a reset door warp and a, a door warp with no reset, we can see both behaviors. Watch the coins and the fire flower closely. If you go through a normal warp after collecting them, they won't reappear on the map. But if you use a reset warp, they respawn back to their original positions. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about Super Mario Construct's warp system. I hope I helped you today and keep on the watch for more Super Mario Construct content. Thanks for watching.